A grave discovery last night in a car in the Columbus area leading to a tragic break in the case of a missing woman from Mansfield. Melinda Davis's body was located more than an hour away from where she went missing. 10 TV's Clay Gordon has the latest. Sheriff Steve Sheldon says they've been searching for 33 year old Melinda Davis for 18 days until they received a call that her body was found. We have some sad news. Sheriff Steve Sheldon says his office received a call from Columbus police about a tip from a citizen. Melinda Davis's missing car was located on Zachary Court in Galloway, Ohio. The vehicle was brought back to Richland County to be brought to be processed by uh, Ohio BCI. Melinda Davis's body was located in the trunk of the vehicle. Investigators have been searching for her since February 25th, when Davis was reportedly heading to her ex-boyfriend's home, John Henry Mack Jr. on Cliffside Drive in Mansfield. She was never heard from again. Based on their investigation and collection and processing of evidence, and after consulting with the Richland County Prosecutor's Office, detectives obtained a, an arrest warrant for John Henry Mack Jr. The evidence collected. Primarily blood. He remains charged with kidnapping. He's also charged with receiving stolen property for an unrelated matter. Uh, obviously, the, the uh, charges and the number of charges will be determined uh, at a later date once this investigation is fully completed. As to what led up to Davis's death. We have a lot of questions too. Investigators have not discussed a possible motive. And we're hoping that in the next few weeks, we'll be able to put out much more information. But they did say this. Without saying too much uh, about this case, uh, you know, obviously we are all very concerned about uh, domestic violence in this county and in this country. Call someone and report instances where abuse or, or uh, domestic violence is suspected. Uh, anyone who values human life should do that. An autopsy is being performed. However, investigators have not released a cause of death. In Mansfield, I'm Clay Gordon, 10 TV News. The Richland County Prosecutor's Office says two other people are facing obstruction of justice charges in connection to this case.